what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so that my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and everything you could ever need about volleyball so today I have a video that will help a lot of you guys who are practicing at home are starting to learn how to play volleyball and you're not sure where to start let's get right into it <music> volleyball at home you might get a little frustrated because you either don't have a lot of room or you don't have a lot of equipment that you can use I have two things for you today that will really help you work on your serves and your setting and you can do that at home inside or outside this video is sponsored by ace swift so I'm gonna leave links in the description box about these products so that way you can take a look and see what's up let's get right into it one of the things that stinks about practicing by yourself is going to shag the ball every time you use it. It's cool, we're gonna fix that. So when I was learning how to play volleyball, I had to learn how to practice by myself in my driveway or my backyard. And there wasn't something like this out quite yet. So this is the serving pal, and what this does is you attach a ball and it attaches to your waist and the ball comes right back to you. Which will save you a lot of time shagging the ball, especially if you don't have that much time to begin with. So the first thing with the serving pal is to put it around your waist and it's really adjustable. It's just a Velcro strap. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it around my waist and I'm gonna put it comfortable, not too tight where I can't breathe and not too loose where it's starting to fall down. And then I'm gonna turn the label facing forward. So let's say that I didn't put it on adjustably right. Then I'm gonna just readjust it. It's that easy, you guys. And then I'm gonna turn it all the way back around so you can see that there is the clip facing forward. And that's where I'm gonna touch the ball. Now we're gonna add the ball. And the, the ball comes in a little cage, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ball in, and then we're gonna attach it with the Velcro straps, and then attach the clip to the clip on my body. So there's two ways that you can put the ball in. Sometimes people wanna put the ball on the ground and then they wanna attach it in if it's easier for you to do it this way. Or sometimes you can just put the ball, already have the clip halfway made, so that way you can just attach the ball and slide it in and just strap one, Fa label facing out. So what I'm gonna do is I already have it kind of already formed and I'm just gonna attach the last piece of Velcro, strap her in there, and then attach the clip to my body because you know what, I'm ready to get these serves right. And it's attached to a bungee spring and the bungee spring is what keeps the ball to come back. So now I'm gonna latch hook it to me and it's just a simple latch hook and it's gonna attach and it's gonna stay there and stay sturdy. That way the ball will come back to you so you don't have to shag it all of the time. And this way you can practice in small spaces too. So now I'm gonna turn the label facing backward and now I'm ready to start practice. <laughs> Now I've done a ton of serving videos and this tool will help you be able to practice your surf before the tryouts while you're still at home. You can go to a park, you can go in your front yard, your backyard. If you have a little bit more space in your home, you can do it in there too. Because it's so important to practice before the season starts so that way we can learn the proper serving form. And that way when we go to tryouts, our coach is like, wow, I'm really impressed about your serving. That's what we want them to say, right? So especially practice your serves. So you wanna make sure to do your bow, your arrow, your step, and your hit. We wanna make sure to get the proper contact on the hand. So if you're having issues with contact on the hand, this is something that may help you because the ball's coming right back to you. So let's take a moment to look at some of these swings. you do want to practice inside and you don't have that much room you can adjust the strap so it's a shorter strap so it doesn't go as far and I think that is by far the coolest 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 thing ever so if you don't have that much room it comes right back and if you don't mind the thump on the ground when it's serving that's okay that way you can get your practice in because we know how important it is to start practicing now <laughs> To 
all of my setters, my new setters, my trying to learn how to be a setter, this is for you. This is the ace set. And what this is, is something that I needed when I was like 15 years old, when I was trying to set and it didn't work out for me. So this will prevent you from having flat hands. You know that 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 sound that you get when you're setting, when it sounds like it's like a pfft, that kind of sound, that will prevent you from having that because it will help you shape your hands into those ball shaped hands we're looking for when we're setting. So that way we can transition into being a more skilled setter. So this is a transitional tool for you so you can learn how to not have those flat hands and start making those ball shaped hands. So let me show you the ball shaped hands that this will help me get. Now the ball is supposed to lay right in the middle of your hand so that way if the volleyball contacts that part, it's gonna make the sound or even bounce off. That way you know that your hands are incorrectly formed for a set. So these are really, really, really great and honestly, I wish I had these when I was learning how to play volleyball. So what I'm doing is I'm doing some practice sets to make sure that I am having the correct form and I'm able to make those correct setters hands that I need and then I'm pushing it out. Did you like it? So I hope you like this video. I hope that this is really, really helpful for you because when I was learning how to play volleyball, I didn't have any of these tools. So it was really, really great for me to see some of these tools and bring them to you. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it. And I will see you guys next time.